We know Tamika Catchings as one of the biggest stars in the WNBA. But before the championships and awards, Tamika Catchings was a little girl with big dreams. She kept a note pinned to her bathroom mirror, and every morning she'd read the words to herself. One day, I'll play in the NBA. Her goal at that point was to be, you know, to be able to play in the NBA. And being a dad and having an opportunity to play, I thought, oh yeah, that, you know, that's cute, that, that's nice, but um, she's been able to do some tremendous things throughout her career. She took that goal with her through high school and on to the University of Tennessee. And when the WNBA was created during her college career, that goal became even more tangible. My goal was to play in the NBA, and then W came, so you know everything kind of switched over. And having the opportunity to one day play in America in front of my family and friends, and just knowing that this league was designed especially for me. Catchings was well on her way to realizing her dream, but an ACL injury in her senior season would put that dream on hold. Really, just scared, you know. For a minute, just kind of like, gosh, you know, you waited this long, went four years in college, having the WNBA to look forward to, and then I get hurt my senior year. And so kind of like, ah, you know, what's next? Like, where am I going to end up? Who's going to want me on their team and all that? I was aware of Tamika Catchings at Tennessee. I knew she was a good player, but I also knew that she had injured her knee. And I knew the story that she was not going to be able to play that first season. You never know when you draft injured players really how, how it's going to work out. You know, I think um, in some, to some degree there is a risk. This team was a ex typical expansion team. They weren't very successful in terms of wins right away. You don't expect that. And so they needed help right away. And so now you have this high draft pick who's not even going to be able to help you for another year. So you're going to sit around through another season of probably not much on-court success while you've invested heavily in this player who can't help the team. When you're building a, a uh, professional franchise, you need to have a franchise player, someone that can be the face of your team, someone that will be your leader uh, significantly over a long period of time. And I think that's where Kelly Crosscop did a great job because she was trying to decide who will this player be. With the third pick of the 2001 WNBA draft, the Indiana Fever select Tamika Catchings from the University of Tennessee. I just remember just sitting there and kind of like the first pick went, Lauren Jackson went to Seattle. I was kind of like, okay, you know, you're fidgeting in your fingers. And then Charlotte Sting is on the clock and uh, they take Kelly Miller and then, you know, Indiana's on the clock. And it's like, I heard my name, but I didn't really hear my name. And then all of a sudden, like when it registered, I was like, oh, <laughs> that's me. I know it's only been 60 <laughs> seconds, but you're headed to Indiana. What are you going to bring to the team? I think uh, the main thing is, like Nell said, just my work ethic, just to go out, work hard to get back, you know, get my knee back, and then once I join the team, just to have fun. It was the second year of our franchise, so you're you're in a situation where you're really building your, your team and you're building your organization. and. Um, so all the players that we were looking at, you know, were sort of foundation type players. And at that time, Tamika had been injured her senior year in college. And as we got closer to the draft, we had the third pick in the draft, there was a young lady named Jackie Stiles, who um, at the time was probably one of the most heralded college women's players in the NCAA. So it came to our turn to pick, and it was really between Jackie Stiles and Tamika Catchings. I'll never forget asking Nell Fortner, is it really worth it to draft someone who's not going to be able to play for you for an entire year? And she said, Rich, you just wait and see. Man, I was just crossing my fingers that we would get catching, but, but you know, there were people in the room that wanted Kelly Miller. And I'm like, y'all are crazy. You said, uh-uh, Catchings is going to be the one. So there was a little bit of a you know, just because of the uncertainty of the knee, and they didn't know her like I knew her. I knew she would be fine, because she would work like a maniac to get well. Nell kept talking about Tamika's just relentless work ethic, just, you know, just couldn't say enough about you know, her competitiveness, her drive, and I remember having a conversation as well with Pat Summit, who talked about, out of all the players that she's ever coached, this is one of the most relentless players, the most competitive players she's ever coached. So. You're thinking, okay, Pat Summit, you know, is, is giving her a, a full ring endorsement as well as Tamika's talent. I feel sure she 
you know, really focused in on catchings, uh, not only because of her tremendous success uh, at Tennessee, but just the type player she is, the type person she is. So if you're going to build a franchise around somebody, I can't think of anybody better than to make it. I always remember asking that question, is she gonna be worth it? And I was skeptical that she could be worth it. And boy was, you know, I, any of my doubts were completely wiped out by the way she played from a rookie season on. It's like a dream come true. You wait for a long time for your dreams and you work so hard to put yourself in a position to achieve them. And so, you know, finally get to that point, I was like, gosh, like, here we go. We were anxious. She was anxious to get on the floor. And I think I remember the first game that she played, um, it, it was like just she had been shot out of a cannon. I mean, she just went so hard on every single play. It was something I had never seen before. I mean, it was just, it was like, wow. Within her first or second season, I can remember going to games and thinking, this is a lady who plays basketball with an aggression and a intensity and energy uh, that I just hadn't seen at any level of basketball very often. We selected Tanika and Jackie went fourth and Jackie wins the Rookie of the Year that year in the WNBA. So I was quite nervous <laughs> that whole first year, waiting for Tamika to take the floor in 2002. And um, she wins Rookie of the Year in 2002 and uh, overtakes, I guess, Sue Bird, who was, had been drafted that year as well. So, and here we are in year 16 of her career, and I'd say it was a pretty good choice. She has completely proven to be worth waiting a year for been here for 16 years and, you know this is the rest of history